What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver walkthrough. Okay, so we're back. You know, champs. Champs of the Johto region, and, uh, well, it is finally time for us to move on right here because, well, why not? Let's be the champs and all that stuff. So, after coming back from becoming the champion, our mom's gonna be looking at us. She's like, Hi, Draven. Professor Elm uh, told me that he has something to give you. Well, that is a little something something right there. So, uh, let's see what's changed right here. Let's see. Let's go into our profile. Yes, we got... Look at that. We got all the badges. And we have unlocked the next pair of gym badges that we actually have to win. And believe it or not, we are about to do this. We're going to do this, guys. We're going to be battling every gym leader we can. And, uh, yeah. So, let's go straight to Professor Elm. And here he is waiting for us. He's going to be like, Draven, there you are. I called because I have something for you. See, it's an SS ticket. Now you can catch Pokemon in Kanto. And look at that. We got the SS ticket. The ticket will let you take the first, or the fast shit that departs uh, from the Olivine City. But you knew that already, Draven. After all, you've adventured all over the, with your Pokemon. Give my regards to Professor Oak in Kanto. So, it is time, guys. It is time for us to actually go straight to Kanto and take care of business right there. So what we need to do now is we actually don't need that. What we need is to fly over to Olivine. Now, as you guys already know, we got Rainbow Chicken on the team. Yes, what we're going to do right here now is we're going to be switching it up with a good old buddy Togetic. Or Toga, yeah, Toga whatever. Because now we're, we're going into Kanto. We're going to be finding a, the elemental stone that... Well, needed to, to actually evolve it. So let's go right ahead and switch it out. And yes, we do like the challenge. We do like the challenge of everything. I know that Togetic is a little weaker right now, but it is what it is, guys. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna train it. We're gonna evolve it into our best Pokemon ever. Now, if only I could find it. Hmm. Let's see, where are you? I see it somewhere. I'm I'm probably blind. I don't know. Oh, there you are. Okay, so there you are. Togetic all alone in box number four. So we're going to be switching it up. Thank you, Rainbow Chicken, for all your services right here. What we're going to do is we're going to actually put it in box one just, you know, to make it easier for us to find right here. And uh, let's see. Let's see. Is there anything else that we need to do? No, all our Pokemon are healed. Let's go right ahead and take care of business right here. We are in Olivine City, and all we need to do now is go to the pier, and Professor Oak has noticed us. He's gonna be like, hello, you are starting to have the attitude of a champion, Draven. It's time for your Pokedex to match who you are. Let me see your Pokedex for a second. I'll upgrade your Pokedex with the national mode. And look at us, we get the national mode, which means we can get Pokemon from pretty much every region going into, you know, this generation right here. However, I'm sure you'll make it on this attempt on our behalf. Let's see. Oh, time flies. I have to go to the. I have a radio show. A radio show to record at Goldenrod Tower. You must be heading to Fort Kanto. If you come near Palatown, do drop by my Pokemon Research Lab. Okay. Alrighty. Okay, so let's go right ahead and talk to this guy. He's like, "Welcome to the Fast Shift SS Aqua. Aqua. May I see your SS ticket?" There it is. We flashed it. Okay, there it is, the ticket. And, well, we're going to be going on board. Let's go. And, of course, the glitch happened again. So, I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so, yeah, that glitch keeps on happening onto the Dismume. Yes, I know, guys. It's kind of annoying. But, it, it comes with, you know, it, it does come with the the Dismume if you decide to actually play uh, all your Nintendo DS games onto here. Now, recently... And, and I, I kind of feel like a bonehead for this. Actually, hold on. I need to switch. No. Okay. So, yeah, I kind of feel like a bonehead for this. And that is that I've recently found out that you can actually play your Nintendo DS games onto your Nintendo 3DS games. Yes, that's how out of the loop I am. Yeah, I know. I know, guys. You're probably saying, like, seriously, like, what the heck, man? Like, that's, like, the most basic thing. And it's already, like, you know... Holy crud, Draven, where the heck have you been, uh, where the heck have you been? And I'll tell you this right now, guys. I've been doing work. I've been doing a lot of stuff. And, uh, yeah, had I known this, uh, we would, we probably would have been playing Pokemon, our Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver series onto the Nintendo 3DS with the capture card. That way we could start training Pokemon. But, yeah, that ain't the case. So, yeah, now we're going to be moving on right here. 
And we got this guy right here. He's gonna be like, oh my god. Whoa, excuse me. I was in a hurry. My granddaughter is missing. She's just a wee girl. If you see her, please let me know. Okay. So we got uh, we got that mission going on. Now, let's see. Where is the guy that is in our room or something? Let's see. Here's your cabin. If your Pokemon are hurt, take a nap right here. That will heal them. Now, we got our own cabin. Cabin made for the champion himself. And, uh, well, the cool thing is... Wait, that's not our cabin. This is not our cabin. What the heck? Who the heck is this guy? Well, <sighs> we're going to be battling for our cabin. I'm going to Kanto to put on fire-breathing shadows. Okay. Alrighty. So yes, guys, we're gonna be battling Fire Breather Lyle, and well, he's gonna be coming out with like some Pokemon with fire breathing abilities and all, all that stuff. Okay, so going back onto our little rant, yes, good old Draven didn't know about you know Nintendo DS games going being uh, capable of you know being played on Pokemon 3DS. Yeah, again, guys, lay to everything. I know, I know, but. It doesn't necessarily mean that, you know, that I'm not going to be doing stuff on there because, well, I kind of have an idea of what, what, what might happen. And look at this. Togepi finally grows a level, which is great. And, well, our mission here now is to finally evolve Darkseid into its most powerful form. And there we go. That's right. Speed button is still in effect. And Togepi mooching off all of us. Yes, we win. So, yes, yeah, guys. Didn't even know that. I really didn't know. I'm sorry. Um, let's see, what else, what else, what else, what else, what else, what else did I learn? Oh yes, the Nintendo Store, well, I found all of this out because of the Nintendo Store that, that got shut down onto the 3DS, and, <laughs> yeah, that, that right there is just kind of, like, annoying. So, let's see, most passengers are, are trainers, they are itching to battle in our, all their cabins. Okay, so, this is a new addition right here, that's pretty cool. So, let's go right ahead and battle everybody, of course, the speed button is going to be right there. And this guy is going to be like, Oh, hello! My granddaughter is still missing. If she's on the ship, that's okay. She's an energetic child, so she may be bothering someone. That worries me. Probably worries everybody right here. So let's go right ahead and uh, continue battling everybody. And, uh, well, here we have this guy looking at us all cockeyed and everything. And he's going to be like, Hey, kid, want to battle with me? Sure, let's go right ahead. Anywho. Look at this. Colin wants the battle, and he's coming out with his Dillabird. Oh, this is going to be bad. Okay, so let's go right ahead and use the Discharge. There we go. And we're at level 44, and just like that, we win. Okay, so Baoba is calling us, and he's going to be like, Oh, hi, Draven. This is Warden Baoba. Sorry to have kept you waiting. I thought of a new way to play. It's called the Object Arrangement. I'll give you more details at the Safari Zone. See you there. Yeah, there's a big problem with this. That is that, you know, um, yeah, we're, we're, we're not in Johto, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Anywho, we're going to be switching out our Pokemon right here. Let's go with Hercules, and let's not do that. Let's go right back into the Pokemon team. Again, I'm using a different controller because, well, my other one kind of went to you know what. And we're going to be battling these girls right here. Let's see. You think I'm a baby? That's not fair. I'm not a baby. That's not a nice thing to say. Okay, alrighty. So, here we go. Meg and Peg wanting to battle us and coming out with a Teddy Ursa and a Fanfy. Now, the funny thing about this, guys, is, you know, now that I've discovered that you can actually play the 3DS games onto... onto... or Nintendo DS games onto the 3DS games, uh, yeah. I was like, yeah, I could have just traded Pokemon, you know, I could have just done this and that, man. A lot of what could have, or what could have been and all that stuff, so yeah. But now that we already, like, we're already completing these games, I'm just like, you know what, it is what it is, you know. Can't really go back, can't really do much. We, we got the disc movement for a reason, plus, you know, old Nintendo DS games, yeah, they're considered, they're considered old now. Uh, yeah, they cost a, a little bit more than usual, so just, yeah, like, uh, yeah, they cost a little bit more, and so it's gonna be a little bit hard, a little bit difficult to obtain, especially, you know, since, you know, I kind of, like, uh, well, I only have two DS games, and that's Black and White 2, so, yeah. See what happens, guys? See what happens. Okay, so here we go, taking on the Bronzor, and look at that, and we're gonna take on Golan, so let's get, let's give Hercules a little bit of love right here. 
Brick break. And what the hell is going on right there? Okay, so future sense or future, you know, whatever is gonna give us. And you know, look at that. Hercules grows a level 44. Togepri getting us a level, getting uh, updated and all that stuff. So there we go. All right. So let's see. Yes, I think. Let's see. I think we should give Togepri a little bit of love. Get it to try and grow just a little bit more because, yes, we kind of, uh, well, we didn't really abandon it. It's just that, you know, we, we thought that, we, we kind of thought strategically of what we could have done and uh, who could be here. I don't know. You know, I'm thinking that my cabin was, like, on the lower part of this whole thing right here. Yeah, it's right here. Okay, so here's my cabin. As many of you guys already know, it's a comfy bed. You can go to sleep. You can heal up your Pokemon. And... Well, you got yourself your own PC right here. So that that right there is kind of like, you know, okay, you can heal up your Pokemon. And, well, if you go right here, there is somebody slacking off. He's like, see, see, see. What? I'm awake, of course. No, you're not. Okay, so right now we can't do anything about Homeboy right there. But we need to go into the next room in order to, you know, to, to, to see what, what, what happens eventually now. We're looking for people, we're looking for items. I don't know how many items you can actually grab around here, but there is somebody there, probably throwing up. And that's a lot of beds. So let's go right ahead and talk to this guy. Whew, I'm seasick. Okay. Alrighty, so here we go, taking on Juggler Fritz, and he's gonna be coming out with his Mr. Mime. Okay, let's see. Let's go with the fly attack. And, of course, he's going to be going with a Substitute. Substitute actually, you know, takes a little bit of its HP. Makes a Substitute to prevent any damage. And depending on how much damage it takes, well, it usually breaks on the first try or the second try. And, well, we're going to be taking on Magmar. So let's go with Nessie. And, well, let's see. Let's go with the Waterfall right here. And just like that, we win. Level 46. And, well, we get burned because, well, you know... You know, screw Graven. Right. So let's go back to Togapri. Togapri, let's go with an extra sensory. And that right there is gonna beat it. And just like that, Togapri is going back into level 37. It wants to learn Safeguard. Hmm. Safeguard's a pretty good move. Because somebody on the comment section keeps on annoying me about, well, you need to get Safeguard. That prevents any paralysis and stuff and, and everything. But as you guys can see, Safeguard, the user creates a protective shield that prevents status problems for five turns. Again, this is a pretty good one. And right now, we're not trying to be strategic. we got a charm attack here. The user charmingly stares at the foe, making it less wary. The target's attack is sharply lowered. I need that right now. So we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna give up on Safeguard for right now. Eventually, you know, we're, we're going to get it back. For more strategic ver uh, versions and all that stuff. So there we go. We defeated this guy. And actually, let's talk to him. No more chips for me. Next time, I'm taking the Magnet Train. Well, the Magnet Train is always fun. But the, dude, there is one little problem. And that is that, well, it's, it's, I hear it's not working. Now, let's see. Let's go ahead and talk to this guy. And he's going to be like, nothing beats a battle when I'm on break. Mm, nothing on break. Okay. So we're taking on Sailor Jeff. He's coming out with a Makuhita. So let's go right ahead and go with a fly attack. And that right there saves it. So let's go straight for the extra sensory. And Togepri is kicking some butt right now. Okay, so let's go right ahead and go with Hercules. The the legendary adventures. Have you guys ever watched that that show? I know that's like a little old for some of you guys, but. There is a there is a show called Hercules the Legendary Adventures with Xena Warrior Princess. That right there was some badass shows. Now let's see. Let's go right up to this one. Full restore. Yes, I know. Back when like a, I think this is like in the 90s, like late 90s. It's probably like around what like seven to nine and all that stuff. Yeah, I think it was a little more mature for me, but I still watched it. Pretty good shows. Pretty darn good shows. Lucy Lawless will forever be my crush, and well, look at this. Hey, kid, could I get you to look for my buddy? He's taking it easy somewhere. Not good for nothing. I want to, I want to go find him, but I'm on guard duty, and I have to stay here right now. Hmm. I wonder where he's at. Hmm. Anywho, 
Let's go right ahead and find this guy. I seem to have remembered of finding somebody taking a snooze somewhere where he shouldn't have been taking a snooze and all that crud. So, let's see. I think it was the second one right here. I, th I actually thought it was my, my cabin, but here he is. Talk to him. He's going to be like, oh. Uh-oh. What? You're saying I was asleep? Show some respect. A crewman on duty would never be so unmindful as to take a nap in a place like this. I resent your implication. I challenge you. A lot of big words, guys. A lot of big words. And, well, here we are taking on S Sailor Stanley. And, well, let's go right ahead. Go with an extra sensory right here. And just like that, we win. And, well, let's go right ahead and continue to feed Togapri. And there we go. Togapri level 38. And well, let's go right ahead and switch it out to Fluffolt. And see what this is all about right here. So let's go with a discharge for the win. And there it is. So in this episode right now, Togepri has grown about three or four levels. That's pretty cool. So this guy right here is going to be like, Lucy, to you woke me up. I will mend my ways and work hard. Can you keep it a secret that I was taking a nap here? Please don't tell the captain. Um, I'm, I'm, okay. I'm not going to tell, but if you ask me, you know, I'm not really going to tell. But, you know, he probably already knows. I don't even know. Anywho, let's get the heck out of here. And, well, once we're done with this whole situation, talk to this guy. Thanks, kid! I yelled at him. Good, so he'll quit slacking off. Okay, and wait, hold on, just a sec. Um, okay, so he doesn't know anything about a person. And look at this! Look at that, that's pretty cool. The mechanics and everything, wow, this, this is like, wow. Back in the day, that was like actually a pretty big thing. And, well, actually, let's not do that. Let's go ahead. And switch out our Pokemon. Let's go with Dark Side right here and see what this is all about. Hmm. I'm so bored. Want to battle? Sure, let's go right ahead. Okay, so here we go. Taking on Picnicker Deborah, and she's coming out with her Sea Queen or Sea King. I don't know. Let's see. Let's go right ahead and switch out to Flowful because that's not a good challenge. And, well, we're going to go with the Charge Beam. There we go. Look at that. Attack, attack. And yes, you are paralyzed, my friend. Bam. There we go. Increase our attacks. And, well, there's nothing right here. That is pretty cool how, like, the, the motor keeps on running like that. Okay, so let's get the heck up to the next floor. And right here, we're going to be at the very end of the deck right now. And if you go into this particular location, you're going to be finding a little girl next to the, see, the captain. And she's going to be like, Captain, play with me, please. I'm bored. I want to play some more. Uh-oh. Wow. You're going to play with me? Let's play hide and seek. I'll hide so you close, you close your eyes. And, well, she is hiding. And... Let's talk to this guy. Thank you for playing with her. You may think being a captain is somewhat of an easy job, but it's actually quite demanding. That little passenger has gone out of the room. She can't get off the ship, so she must be hiding somewhere around here. Okay. All right. Well, at least nobody's throwing up on uh, the trash can, even though, let's see, let's see if we can find something now. Okay, so let's go ahead and locate this uh, this little girl right here. And I wonder what's there. Okay, there's nothing. Let's go find her. Where is she? Where is she? She's probably hiding around somewhere here. Let's see. Not right there. She wouldn't be dumb enough to do that. So let's see. Right here. Nope. I'm only assuming she's at the very end, and she could be right there hiding, holy crud, and well, there she is. She's all happy and stuff. Oh, you found me. I better go back to my grandpa. All right, so we're going straight back to the grandpa, and grandpa, here I am. I was playing hide and seek with this guy. Draven, what, Draven was it? I heard you entertain my granddaughter. I want to thank you for that, so take this. And we get ourselves a metal coat. And we get a little ding dong, and of course, the fast ship SS Aqua has arrived in Vermilion City. Okay, it is time. Let's get the heck out of here. We di we did our part. Let's go ahead and talk to this guy. The fast ship SS Aqua has arrived in Vermilion City. Okay, alrighty, alrighty. So, here it is, guys. We are in the Kanto region, like literally in the heart of the Kanto region. Let's talk to this guy. Look at the bottom of the floor right here. That's pretty awesome. That is, they, they made some pretty good strides on making this all, you know, the details and all that stuff. But here it is, guys. We are in Vermilion City. 
And, well, we got a whole new adventure ahead of us. This is Vermilion City three years after the events of Pokemon Red, Blue, Yellow, or Fire Red and Leaf Green. So, what we're going to do right here, guys, is we're going to pause it. In the next episode, you already know what's going to happen. We're going to be battling. We're going to be doing some stuff. Can't wait. Thank you guys again for being patient. Thank you guys again for being uh, as supportive as possible. By the way, I got a new merch store down below right there if you guys want to check it out. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver walkthrough. See you guys.